Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Pemco. This is a part number 318AV. This is a mill finish aluminum door bottom is what it is. This is a door bottom that you don't see ins installed very often, and I think primarily because contractors just don't know about them uh, very much. But when I have supplied this to a job, sometimes without having discussed it first in terms of client says, I need a good door seal for the bottom of the door, it's not surprising that they will call the next time and specifically request this sort of U-shaped model. Okay, Very effective sort of way to seal the door. You get the concept of how it attaches. The two extrusions just get bent over, attached exactly to the bottom of the door. That can be pulled pretty taut so that you've got, or pulled up, I should say, a very small amount of um, room. You know, you might have a little tighter than average sort of undercut uh, that would be there. This item is designed so that the dimension, when it's properly installed, from the extrusion, the bottom of the extrusion, to the bottom of the vinyl, and that's what the V stands for in the part number, is 5 eighths of an inch. Now that's going to be very typical and very common for use on a hollow metal door. Uh, you'll have hollow metal doors that are typically, typically with a three quarter inch undercut. So this 5 eighths, we're going to tuck that down a little bit on one or both sides. You'll be able to exactly accommodate just where you want to be uh, with that uh, sort of undercut. This material features a leg that comes back behind the extrusion on either side. That's nice because what happens is it will help retard any water that has gotten behind the extrusion and down the face of the door uh, and will get or purposefully uh, collect underneath here. Also it's there because this extrusion is relatively thin and it's not completely unheard of that when the screws are attached uh, there's a small imperceptible amount of belly that occurs between the screw points so quite frankly having the flap that goes behind the extrusion to the face of the door is really a, a necessity as a result of the design of the item. This uh, item is going to be available in several finishes. Bright dip gold, that would be a much shinier uh, sort of finish than uh, is typical. You can get it in dark bronze anodized aluminum. You can get it in gold anodized aluminum, which would be a very matte sort of uh, color that complements polished brass although in a more of a dull sort of finish. And then PW for painted white. Uh, this item has been sold to clients that are using it as a, a seal for an overhead door. You gotta be real sure that your door is inch and three quarter thick and that we can get it to you in the proper lengths if it's an overhead door. You might need a 12 foot length. In that sort of case, what ends up happening is that we will supply something creative like two six foot pieces, but then specifically request that the factory ships a 12 foot continuous length of the vinyl that can generally be accommodated. The other dimension from that image below this video is the height of the extrusion, which is 7 eighths as you can see. Okay. This is specifically intended for inch and three quarter doors. I certainly know that you can use it for thinner doors, except that you're going to expose a corner of the vinyl to the hard edge of the door itself. Uh, and it's probably not going to be an issue, but nonetheless, it's outside of what outside of what it's really designed for. Uh, available in several different lengths. If you have need for a custom length, by all means, let us know by ordering the next longest piece or pieces and indicate in the comment field what length you'd like for us to cut the material back to. The reasoning is, is if you had to take this, what is a 40 inch piece, forgive me, 36 inch piece and cut it down to say 34 inch, you'd all but eliminate that slotted hole. The next one's all the way over here. It's awfully nice to have that slotted hole from the factory for a couple of reasons. First, because every sill is not level. Every door is not plumb. Every jam is not completely straight. Those slotted holes help account for those conditions, along with uh, when you're pre-drilling the hole for the screw. And speaking of the screws, they are included in a complementary finish. And especially if you're installing this onto a hollow metal door, that drill bit has a tendency to walk a little bit before it pierces through. That hollow metal door could have an inverted bottom channel and drilling through two layers of steel might be a challenge if that is indeed the case. 
So if you ordered a custom length, we'll not only locate that first slotted hole at the proper distance from the edge, but the proper center to center as well. The name Pemco is synonymous with all things weather stripping related, not only door bottoms like this, but of course thresholds and perimeter gasketing. Material made of aluminum like this one, stainless steel, architectural bronze, and they also have a comprehensive offering of specifically residential weather stripping as well. Any questions on the Pemco 318AV U-shaped style door bottom or any other Pemco product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.